Hello, welcome to my regularly scheduled Tuesday Live. How are you guys doing? I'll wait, let you guys pop on. Let's see. Give you guys a minute to pop on. I have a fun fold card tonight. Um, well, it's more of a pop-out card. And I'm using some new products. So I'm super excited about that. Let's see who's here. Somebody's in here. Let's see. Donna. Hi, Donna. Welcome. Happy Tuesday. So happy to be back. Um, I did enjoy the break, though. There was no stressing an hour before going live last week. What am I going to do? So I did enjoy the break. It was a nice... Um, spring break my son actually wanted to spend time with me so you know you've got to take advantage of that because as they get to be teenagers it's less and less time with mom so we had a good time we went to the movies we seen Mario which was awesome if you guys have not seen Mario um, I highly recommend it it's a cute movie um, if, especially if you've played Mario and you know you've grown up with the video games it's really cute um, very entertaining for adults and for kids so then we went to the zoo that was fun and we went out to lunch and we just hung out we went to the thrift store we did a whole bunch of things you're right a break is always nice so um, and we had beautiful weather last week. Oh my gosh, it was summer, summertime. It was crazy how um, beautiful it was. I was happy. I'm, I'm not gonna complain, I love that, so. Um, but yeah, so I have a fun pop-out card that I'm going to, yeah, exactly, um, that I'm gonna show you guys tonight, like I said. Um, I want to let everyone know, which I know Donna, you know, um, free shipping tomorrow only, April 19th for 24 hours on any orders over $75. So I would suggest a lot, just about everything in the new catalog is going up. Some things are going up 50 cents, some things are going up 2 to $3. Um, so I would recommend any supplies you guys need if you're, you know, needing any kind of cardstock, any inks, any supplies. Hi, Mary Alice. Oh, yay. Th thank you for being here. Um, I'm glad you caught me. So I would highly recommend you guys getting in there and getting those um, items because... They're going up, like the storage, all the our ink pads and um, our ink pad storage and all those things, they're going up by $2 a piece in the new catalog. So if you guys need, I know I had to order some because of all the ink pads that um, we have now, all the new ink pads. So if you guys need anything, any kind of cardstock, anything, the new catalog comes out, what is it, May 2nd. So... That's when the new prices are going to go into effect. So you might as well get cheaper prices with the catalog now and free shipping. So that is tomorrow. Um, get your orders together. I've got a list. I'm going to put an order in and um, get that free shipping. So that's what's going on. We have a new catalog coming out in a couple of weeks. If you guys have ordered from me within the last six months, I will be mailing out a catalog, or I'm sorry, I've already mailed out a catalog package to you. I actually mailed them out Monday morning. So you should be getting them this week. I have your catalog and I have a few little goodies in there. Um, if you've ordered from me, you know that I like to put little things in with any orders and any catalogs or anything. So. If you are brand new and you're just watching me and you're thinking that you would like to place an order, just let me know. I will send you a catalog. Any time you place an order with me um, within six months, then you will get the current catalogs that are out. So the catalog is amazing. There's so many awesome things in it, so I can't wait until I can share it with you. But I can share. I did get my pre-order in um, some of the stuff, so I'm going to share that tonight with you guys. So. 
let me go ahead and flip you guys right down so we can get right to business here. Let's see here. Hopefully that is good. Let's see where we're at here on the computer. Let's see. I think we're probably, yep, we are upside down. The cord's in the way. Jeez, what a rookie. Let me kick that cord right out of the way and straighten us out a little. I need to go this way. There we go. All right, so let's just bring us in. Zoom us in to zoom us out, right? There we go, perfect. All right, and then let me flip us. It's a little bit of a process to get uh, everything going here, but once I get it going. So let me show you guys the card that we're gonna be working on. I did two of them. Here's this one. So I'm using the new product, Zany Zoo. Um, we were able to pre-order a limited amount of products. So this was one of them that we could order. Let me show you the stamp set. Let me get that out. This is Zany Zoo. Isn't that so cute? Look at all them critters. I am not right here, am I? Let's do this. Nope, that's, that doesn't help, does it? Did this help? There we go, that helped. So... These critters are so adorable. I was super excited that this was one that we were able to order on our pre-order. Um, it does have a die set that it comes with. You can buy it as a whole suite. Let me see here. I can't show you the catalog, but I can show you the cover. So pretty. Look at that catalog. So many awesome colors. This color here, um, la, 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 what is it? Lemon Lolly. Lemon Lolly. Hi, Deb. Welcome. Happy Tuesday. Woohoo. Um, this color is so pretty. So anyways, let me look up the Zany Zoo in here so I can tell you exactly what. Let's see. I did buy the whole suite, but everything's new. So when the new catalog, catalog comes out, I get a little confused with things. So Zany Zoo you get, and I'll show you the um, suite. So you get the stamp set, you get the dies, you get the paper, the DSP, and ribbon. Um, and it's gonna be $78.50 for the whole suite. So I forgot to pull out the ribbon. Let me get you the, show you what the ribbon is. Let me see. So here's the stamp set. And then here are the matching dies. You get all kinds of um, dies. They cut out these critters. And with the DSP, you're able to cut out um, the critters from the DSP. And you get trees in here. There's a cloud. There's a curtain. This little tag, which I'm using. There's balloons, flowers. There's a whole bunch of different little dyes in here that um, you can use with this set. But aren't those animals so cute? I cannot wait. Free sh yeah, free shipping. Woohoo! So you get that. Here's the ribbon. If you buy the suite, you would get this ribbon right here. So this is um, pretty stitching ribbon. And that, if you guys notice, that's a returning color, Lemon Lime Twist. And then I believe that's Bubble Bath. But I don't know. It doesn't say here what color does it. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Lemon lime. I can. Doesn't say what color this. Oh, petal pink. It does say it. So petal pink and lemon lime twist. So really, really awesome. These colors go great together. And then the paper. Let me show you guys the paper. This paper is so cute. So you have 12 sheets, two different designs, and. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love the um, sloth doing the yoga there. So and there's another one. And I like how they've colored in some of the parts of this paper, but they've left some of it blank. So you can either leave it that way or you can um, color that in. And then there's that. Those critters are so cute. I'm a sucker for any kind of little critters stamps. 
this one here is what really sold me. I love the lion roasting the marshmallow. Here's another one. So look at that little frog. So cute. And then this one here with all the critters. And then this one. And then the other side is very um, black and white. It's just black and white shapes. So if you didn't like the critters for some reason, you could always use this these little flowers here you could color those in so that's the back side of this again you get 12 sheets of this two two of each design so um, so let me show you so I used I didn't use the paper but here is this is this is one card that I did so I didn't like the way I did happy birthday to you and then you're too wonderful so I did another card but I cut out these balloons, which are in that die set, and then when you open it, it's got that pop-up front to it. So this is real easy to make, you guys. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. We're going to make it. So And then in there is that something great to celebrate you. So there's that one. This paper here, I used the Boho Blue card base, and then this paper is also brand new paper coming. This you can get in another suite, and I'm sorry, I don't remember what the name of the suite is. But this is Countryside Inn paper. So, again, 12, 12 by 12 sheets. So, got the little critters on here, too. And then the rabbits. And then on the back side... You have these really very generic kind of designs that you could use with any kind of card that you want to make. So I used, um, on this card, I used that paper. So there's that. So that's new product. And then the card we're actually going to be making is the same but with different colors. So here's this one with the Lemon Lolly. I love that Lemon Lolly. Um, and I like the way this one turned out. They're both cute, but I like, I put happy birthday to you down there. And then when you open it, you pop it open and something great to celebrate. So we're going to make this one here. But that paper that I used is also part of a suite that you can buy or you can purchase it separately. Let's see if I can, I can't remember the name of it. I'm trying to find the last piece gonna have to look in the catalog but this is it's a birthday one um let's see let me look and find it here in the catalog so i can tell you guys what it is it's hard when you get a new catalog because you got to learn everything let's see birthday where is that one beautiful balloons so that is on page 15. I know you guys can't see it, but soon I'll be able to show you. So this is also a suite, bright and beautiful it's called. So you would get that paper. Um, there's also some other fancy DSP that you can get with it. I don't have that at the moment. Um, and there's a birthday stamp set and dies that you can get. So I almost used that one, but I like the critters. So this is the beautiful balloons, it's called. So I haven't used this one yet, but I did use the beautiful balloons does have coordinating dies. And on this guy here, you can see that bigger balloon. I used that die out of here. I thought that was cute to have the bigger balloon and then the two small ones. So I'm excited to use this one. I do make a lot of birthday stuff. So, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys. In this paper, there is this piece here. I don't know if you guys can see the stars on there. They're fairly light, but I used that sheet that's in here. I think there's like three or four of them in here. But this paper's fun. Look at that paper. Super pretty. Love the colors. I'm really enjoying a lot of the new colors and returning old ones. So 
there's quite a few that did leave us, which I'm sad about, which we always are sad when our colors leave us. But um, it's always exciting to get new colors back, right? So I'm going to do a giveaway this week. I haven't done a giveaway in a while. So if you guys comment on the video, you are entered into the giveaway. And I will announce the winner next Tuesday. This way it'll give you guys a whole week to, um, if you're watching this later, at some point, you can just, you know, comment. Just say hi. You'll be entered in for the giveaway. So, I have a piece of lemon lolly. Um, this is cut at, am I saying that right, you guys? Lemon lolly? That's right. Yes, lemon lolly. This is cut... Um, Traditionally, I usually cut them five and a half. Um, I'll show you guys. You guys all know, I think, on here what I'm talking about. So usually when I cut out the cardstock, we cut it on the 11 inch side. We cut it right down the middle at five and a half. But this one is an A-frame style, so you want to turn it on the eight and a half and cut it at four and a quarter right down the middle and that'll give you four and a quarter by 11 and then you just want to score it in the middle at five and a half and then you have your a-frame folding type card it's still a um, a2 card so let's go ahead I'm trying to find my bone folder here we go so you just want to make sure that you use your bone folder to that it breaks all the fibers so this card will have a nice fold to it. And what we're going to do first is I'm going to glue the designer series paper on the front and then we're going to get out the stamp cut and emboss machine. I love that too. That's pretty, isn't that? That's fun too. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how we cut that circle out. So I'm just using some stamp and seal and you want to make sure you apply it to all the sides and then a couple of pieces here. And then I'm just gonna do an X. Because we're gonna be cutting out a big portion of it, you wanna make sure that you put enough glue on it to stay stuck. So there's that. Now let me show you guys. Bring in my stamp cut and emboss machine. So this is going to be very in your face. Let me see if I can pull this back a little. That might work. Might work and might not. This guy is a must have in your craft room. This is why I don't normally do the, let me see if I do this. Oh, I could do that. That's why I normally don't do my cutting on camera because it's such a such a pain because I have just a limited space but I want to show you guys so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your um, where is it gonna need plate one plate two and then plate three so you should have two two plate number two, threes so you're going to put one plate down and then we're going to take our card here and the layering circles. Now, I'm sorry, I did not check to see if they are still. Hi, Tracy. Welcome. Happy Tuesday. I didn't see a check to see if they're still available. They may be sold out by now. They're not coming back. These I've told everybody and their brother since I've been doing videos are a must have in your craft room. I use these all the time, so if they're not available, um, you could search around and use some other die that you may have. You could use the stitched, we have the stitched um, dies, you could use those, but I'm using the largest circle on this one, and I'm going to take, and we're going to put it close to the top, but not right on top of it. You want to leave a little bit of room there. You want to center it. And because we don't have a magnetic plate, what I found was very helpful is this label and cover up tape. 
I've had it forever. Um, a little bit goes a long way. You can reuse it. So I've taken a piece and I've just small pieces here and it won't rip your paper and I'm going to just tape it on so you can see it's centered and then this won't move being run when you run it through your machine. And another tip I want to show you guys is where's the plate? So when you put this in, you see where your bend of your card is? You want to line up your plate, the edge of your plate, right to that bend. Because if you don't, if you put it past it, it's going to put a crease in there. So you want to line it up with the crease. So if it puts a crease in there, you're going to be, it's going to be good because it's right at the crease, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to hold this, run this through. Oh, it moved. I'm going to try that again. Hold this. Run it through. There we go. And then I'm just going to run this right through the machine. And what you want to do is just make sure before you take that tape off that it cut all the way through. So I can see mine cut all the way through. Because if you didn't, you're going to need to run that through again. Sometimes because you're doing... Um, a cardstock and designer series paper in there, sometimes that won't cut all the way through. So you can do this with any die too. You don't need to use circles. You can use any kind of shape die. Um, you know, you just, it's, it's easy to do this. Once you guys see how easy this is. So I'm just going to remove this carefully. And then you can save this and use this on another um, card, if you know. So that's what I'll do. Because we're not going to use that on this. Take this right off. So there's your circle right there. Now I've already, did I? Uh-oh. I don't think I did. I thought I did. I had a piece of circle. No, I don't. All right. So we're going to get that back out. I, um, you're going to need a piece of basic white. I thought I had a circle already cut out, but I don't see it over here. I'll find it after the Facebook live is over with. Um, so let me just cut a piece of basic white here, run that through the machine, get that machine back out. Guys are, are seeing the um, stamp and boss machine tonight. So I know pretty much all of you guys, except maybe Tracy, doesn't has the stamp cut and emboss machine. Isn't it just the best machine ever? It's just amazing. I love it. It's so easy to use. So I'm just gonna put that on there. Run this through here. It's one of the best inventions ever now maybe stampin up will create an electronic one i've seen them out where you just push a button you don't have to wind the handle which i know helps a lot of people who do have um, issues with their hands those electric ones are nice okay so there's your card base. Let me get you guys back down here a little bit. I know I'm like, it's like seasick, right? You guys are like, what is she doing? All right. Let's see. Let's get you. There we go. So your circle that you cut out has to fit in here. So you want to cut, use whatever die you're cutting on the outside. You need to use for um, your design. So I seen someone do the sunflower one. It's very, very um, cute. So let's see. You have a cricket. Oh yeah, that's really nice. I have a cricket too. They're fun. And you could, you could use your cricket if you don't have a die cutting machine. That is always an option. So let's bring in, let's see, what do we want to do? 
Let's do our stamping. We'll do that first. Where is my stamp set? Here it is. So in here, the raccoon with the balloons is perfect for this one. So let's get him out. And then we're going to need the, I'm going to do the happy birthday to you. And then we're also going to need this celebrate, something to celebrate, and then the confetti. So let me get all them out while we're at it. set up on blocks so the confetti we're going to stamp out in multi-colors this guy here the raccoon we're going to use memento to stamp him out and he's going to go right in the center of this circle he's so cute Donna, you don't need a cricket. <laughs> I actually don't use mine a lot. I used to use it all the time, but I don't use it a lot. And then this guy here, we're going to stamp on the inside of this card here. But what you want to be careful of is you might, if, you want to glue that on there first um, just so that doesn't block it or you don't see it through there. I'm just going to stamp this a little lower. Usually I center it in the white, but I'm going to stamp it a little lower. Perfect. Donna, you would have a lot of fun with a Cricut. You can do a ton of things, but there's a huge learning curve with the Cricut. It's easy once you don't, once you're not intimidated by it, because it can be very intimidating, the Cricut, um, but there is a learning curve to it. I got a mug press for Christmas. I still haven't used it. I'm so nervous to to use it. I don't know why. So I'm going to glue this on the card on the inside. Where is my stamp and seal? Right here. What I like about my Cricut is um, the t-shirts I've made for my niece and nephew and, and just friends. They've asked for different t-shirts and stuff. I love being able to personalize it. So we're going to just glue this down. You're going to want to glue the inside of your card down before we make the um, pop-out mechanism. So let's do, let's color him. So I have a bunch of colors here. So of course I'm using my Stampin' Write markers because, you know, I love them. So I have Light Parakeet Party. I'm going to color the balloons. This is Sweet Sorbet. Tahitian Tide. So have you guys been shopping and getting your last chance products in Boho Blue? They had some really good sales. They still have good sales on this stuff. And then I'm going to color his little eyes the boho blue. And then I have for, um, missing a color. Where is that? Well, I did have light and dark smoky slate, so I don't know where... This one is the dark. 
I'm going to color this little guy. I used the light for his inside, his belly there. I don't know where I put the light one. These little critters are fun to color too. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of the Peekaboo Farm a little bit. That was a cute set. I never got that one though. I don't know. It was on my list to get, but then you know how that goes when you have a list of stuff to get. Oh, here's my light smoky slate. So I'm going to just do the light color on his belly. The camera may not pick it up, but it does. It is a different color. It is a lighter color. And then I have basic black. Um, I have the dark basic black. And I'm going to do his little eye mask here. And then his tail, I'm just going to do the dark on the lines here. And then I'm going to bring back in the dark smoky slate and just cover color over that. And then with this confetti, I did it with, on this one, I did, I stamped it all black and then I colored it. Then this one I stamped in different colors, and I like, I like them both, but I like this one better. I don't know. I don't know. It's just me. So I have Lemon Lolly, Lemon Lime Twist, which I'm so excited is back, Sweet Sorbet, and Tahitian Tide. So I'm just going to kind of stamp these guys randomly on here maybe one more and then don't forget to rinse your stamp off in between this lemon lolly is so pretty we needed a yellow like a nice type yellow we had a couple of yellows which were nice but this one I don't know I really like this one. Hi, Shelly. So excited you're here. Yay. Happy Tuesday. My son was not happy to go back to school Monday. He's like, Mom, can I skip? I'm like, no, you had the whole week off. Why would you think you could skip? They always got to try that, don't they? I hate getting up at 6 in the morning, though. He goes to, he has to get up at 6, catches the bus at 7. I'm like, that is just too early for these kids to be going to school. So I'm just kind of filling in the gaps here. I don't really have a method. I might have over, overdid it right there. There's some down here. There we go. So I think, is that all the stamping, you guys? I think that's all the stamping. All right, so now... We're going to build this pop-out card. It's so easy, you guys. Bring in my little balloons. I already pre-die cut those balloons. So what you want to do is you have two pieces here, and I left the measurements in the video link here. You have, and, and I cut them out of the same color as the cardstock. Um, it just blends and matches that way, so it's easier to do it that way. So one piece here... This is cut two by four, 
and I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's score marks. So you want to score this at one, two, and three. It's a simple score, one, two, and three. And then this piece here is cut one by two, and you just score it right down the middle at one. So you want to bring in your bone folder and make sure that these um, are folded and scored and worked because they're going to be working mechanisms. So you want them to make sure that they're working well. So I always like to take and get those fibers nice and broken. So I will use my bone folder and just... Okay, so now you have your piece here. This is going to go on the inside of your card. So what you want to do is fold this in half so the um, fold side is facing you. Then you're going to bring it in here, and it's going to go right up to the um, crease of your card, and you, you're going to want to center it. So you can use any kind of glue here. You use liquid glue. Um, you could use your stamp and seal. I'm going to use liquid glue. So you're just going to glue this portion right here. So not this part, just that one one inch strip. I'm just going to use some glue. Whoops. So, and then I'm going to bank this up against the card. I'm going to shut this and just make sure that it's, yeah, that is centered. So you just want to press that down. Is Amy here? Did I miss her? I have a full house tonight, don't I? Woohoo! I love it. Hi, Amy. Welcome. So, again, for you guys who are just joining in, I am doing a giveaway this week. So, if you guys want to just put a comment in, hi, whatever, um, just let me know you're here. And you'll be entered into a drawing next, I'll do the drawing next week. Um, and I will send you guys out a prize. So, that's awesome. So, now this piece here, same deal. You want the folded side just facing you. And then this is going to go, wait, before we do this, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. <laughs> before we do that part, we got to glue the other part down. Now, I'm going to bring in a pencil. So we have this piece here, just like this. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm just going to take my pencil and kind of just give it a light line. Because that's where, right here, we do not want any glue. So now you're going to take your glue and you're gonna put the glue before the line. And if you're lose, using liquid glue, go light on it. You don't want it leaking out the sides. Um, you can use your stamp and seal, whatever kind of glue, but that line will help reference so that you're not putting glue in that circle area. Then you're just gonna hold that down. Give it a second, because that liquid glue does take about I don't know, what it, what would you say, about 30 seconds or so to just tack up? We did need a good yellow, didn't we? I'm so happy. I love that lemon lolly. So now I'm just going to take and erase that line. I love, I just love this. And it goes so pretty with a lot of our colors, especially that bubble bath. So there's what the inside of your card's going to look like. You're going to have a square, basically, in there. So now we're going to bring this little tab in. This little guy, the fold part, like I said, is going to go towards you, and you're going to glue it right in the middle of this. So, again, I'm going to use my liquid glue. I just love the liquid glue. And then I'm just going to put that right in the middle. Just want to make sure it's right below that fold. Just let it tack up. Yeah, I am so excited for free shipping. Stampin' Up! sometimes only gives us free shipping like once a year. So, but I think they're becoming a little bit more generous with free shipping. So there's your tab now. So let's bring in, 
our stamped little raccoon. I'm going to put glue on the tab. And then you're going to fit this raccoon right in the circle here. Make sure he's nice and even. And then we're going to tack that down again. And now you've got your pop-up mechanism with your little raccoon on there. Isn't that cute? So it's so easy. And uh, I just would, I think anybody would love to get a card like this. So he pops up so cutely. Cutely? Is that, that's not even a word. Cutely. Um, I'm making stuff up here. And now for the outside... I'm going to put this guy on, but I'm going to pop that up with Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. So that is a tag in this stamp set in case you guys, I don't know if I even showed you guys, but there's that little tag that coordinates the dies that coordinate with this zany zoo. So I'm going to use my Dimensionals. Deb, I'd love to come over. That would be so fun to hang out and stamp. That would be awesome. So, so cute. And then I cut out the balloons. Let me bring them in. Because it needed something on the front. So I have... So again, this balloon is from the Beautiful Balloon Dies. And then these two are from the Zany Zoo. So I'm going to pop up the big balloon. And I cut these balloons out of, I used the colors of these balloons, and I just cut them out of the cardstock. So this is Sweet Sorbet, stuck to my finger. And then I'll just put that down here in the corner. And then these guys I'm going to glue flat. like that and then I did use wink of Stella where did I put my wink of Stella on the balloons just to give it a little bling I mean you could decorate it as much or as little as you want you know if you're doing it for a little kid you know you probably want to keep it simple kids don't care about the cards they're more into what's on the inside of the card or the gift So if you guys can see the Wink of Stella on there, that's super cute. So that is that. Um, you guys are funny. It would be fun for all of us to get together. That would be amazing. Maybe one day we can all meet up at a convention, stamping up. Well, they don't call them the conventions. So there's the card, there's the card, and then there's the other card here. So, so you guys seen they were really easy to make. And again, you don't have to be limited by the circles. You can use squares. You can use um, your any kind of shape on here. Just make sure whatever shape you're using on the outside of the card is the same shape here. So you can do any of them. Um, just get creative with them. They're they're a lot of fun to do. So let me flip you guys back up here. Okay, there we go. So I'm upside down. Let's get me not upside down. Okay, there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I really appreciate everybody being here tonight. That was awesome. Um, so if you're watching this later on, like I said, leave a comment and you'll be entered into a drawing. I will give it away, give something away. I don't know what. Um, I have a box of goodies. 
and next Tuesday on my next Facebook Live, I'll announce it for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to leave all of the measurements in the video. I think they're already in there if I did it right. Um, so you guys can recreate this really easy, super. You've seen how easy it was, and they didn't take a lot of time. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, and I will talk to you guys next Tuesday. Is it a holiday? No, it's good. Okay, I'll talk to you next Tuesday. Same channel, same time. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys again and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.